Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is expected to visit the site of an overpass collapse on one of the nation's busiest highways. It happened Sunday on Interstate 95. A tanker carrying 8,500 gallons of fuel crashed and caught fire in Philadelphia. Officials also recovered a body from the wreck. Our Lane Keanu has been following the story and has more on what we're learning about the man who died. Good morning. Authorities have not released the identity of the driver of the vehicle, but a cousin of the victim told our local CBS station KYW the driver's name is Nathan Moody, a father of three. The head of the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation said yesterday that the tanker was traveling north on I-95 when the driver took a curved exit ramp and lost control of the vehicle, flipping it over onto its side. The tank then ruptured, igniting a blaze so hot it caused a section of the northbound lanes to collapse. Authorities say the inferno also affected the structural integrity of the southbound side. Demolition has already begun and is expected to take several days to complete. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is planning on visiting the site of the collapse today. Yesterday, he promised federal emergency money but cautioned the rebuild would take time. The disaster has snarled Philadelphia traffic over the past two days and is expected to do so for months. Federal investigators from the NTSB are on the scene. A preliminary report on the incident is expected within two to three weeks. Vlad and Anne-Marie. Elaine, thank you.